<laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today, uh, in what is a pretty rare occurrence for our channel, the person who set the puzzle actually gets to talk through um, the puzzle that they made, which is delightful. I'm, I'm glad I get this opportunity, and I'm pretty proud of this one, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, hello, my name's Bill Murphy. Um, you can maybe see my name on the screen already. Um, this is something called diagonal anti-diagonal Sudoku, and this is what we call GAS. What's GAS I hear you ask? GAS stands for Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. Um, basically, we create weird little variant Sudoku um, that, you know, they're a little, they're a little spicy, but they're still, you know, there to give you a little bit of a challenge. Um, I set these along with uh, Clover Moon and Philip Newman and uh, my two American friends, uh, and we put a new one out every day. Um, normally, this would be a video where Philip solves this puzzle. But Philip is uh, taking a little bit of time to himself, and we both wish him well and tell him to enjoy his holiday, I would say. Um, so, uh, with that, let's get into it. Um, so, this is diagonal, anti diagonal Sudoku. Now, um, let's get into it. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in each box, row. In the column, we have to put the digits one to nine once each. Now, um, the reason why it's called diagonal anti-diagonal Sudoku is one of these diagonals follows normal diagonal Sudoku rules. So, um, in diagonal Sudoku, uh, this line would be like a uh, set of the digits one to nine. So I'm going to do it three, four, five, uh, six, eight, two. Ah, uh, wait, I got to put a one there. Um, and then uh, six, six. Oh, um, uh, I, I take a bit of time to do this right. Six, nine, seven, as an example. Um, so that is one set of the digits one to nine once each. Now, in anti diagonal Sudoku, um, I'm trying not to give the game away already. Uh, so in anti-diagonal Sudoku, um, digits must repeat as much as possible. So uh, this could be like four, six, seven, four, six, seven, and they would have to repeat. Now, um, I, in diagonal and anti-diagonal, you get told, hey, we have both of these um, apply the same rules. Now, one of these lines does that, where it's one set of digits one to nine. The other one is uh, anti-diagonal, so it's one uh, one set of three digits repeating three times. You, the solver, have to figure out which one's which. So, if you're like, hmm, cool, what? Give this puzzle a go. Um, I pu I'll put the link underneath it. Um, but uh, with that, I might get started. Now, um, in Sudoku, we talk a lot about bifurcation um, for some reason. Now, bifurcation is not the be all and end all of everything. Bifurcation is the idea that, you know, if I'm trying to speed solve a puzzle, I will just randomly guess, um, go as far as possible as I can. Um, and be like, hey, cool, let's uh, let's just go for it. Um, and then if that doesn't solve the puzzle, I'll just rewind and then guess the other thing that I didn't do the first time. Now, if you bifurcated to solve this puzzle, um, I'm not gonna blame you, I'm not even mad. Um, now, uh, but um, hopefully you were able to spot which diagonal is which, all right? Let's have a look. So, um, when I was setting this, what I was thinking about was, hey, if I put some digits in the middle, um, that would restrict box five a lot, and it would restrict the digits that go on both diagonals. So I'll take the threes out there, and I'll take the sevens out there. Now, if this diagonal is our anti-diagonal Sudoku, um, what are the three digits that go along it? is the question to ask yourself here. So, um, well, 
I have a three here, and I have a five here, and I've got another five there, and a seven there. So that means if I'm trying to make this my anti-diagonal, it means that this would have to have the digits four and six three times. There is no third digit that this could be. That is the intended thing that I hope you found. Um, and why this, uh, the purple line must contain the set of digits one to nine once each. And the green line must have the same three digits again and again. Now, thing you've probably already spotted now that you've looked at it um, is, hey, what are the digits that can go along this line? Well, it's three, five, and seven. They're the only ones that don't, uh, aren't taken up by other cells. So with that, we can put a stack of digits into this puzzle. So that's the seven, that's three, that's five. This can't be three. Uh, this can't be seven. Um, this is seven, three, and five. Yep. Thank you for the dt dude. Now, um, we can put some more digits in. This is one, uh, because one can't go on either of those cells. Two nine pair gets resolved by the nine in column eight. Uh, that one. Now, uh, over here, we can actually just unwind this box in the same way. Uh, this is nine. This is one. This is eight. Now, uh, what is left in box six is four and six. That is a four, six pair, which means we can no longer put four and six along that line. That's really useful. Uh, because I can no longer put four and six along that line, this can't be four and none, none of those cells can be four because of the four down here. So that's four. Uh, six can't be there, 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 or there because of the six and that's one. So that's six. Um, we can do the four, six down here as well in the same fashion. Um, just trying to remember which one's which. Uh, that's six. That's four. Now, um, ba -ba -ba. so this is seven and eight because we have seven and eight over here. Um, which means because seven can't go in those cells, I've just spotted the seven up there. I'm a bit slow today. It's been a long day. We'll take the seven out of there, put seven in there. Uh, two, eight, and nine left to place in this box, which means we can actually just do that. That's, uh, eight, nine, and two. Uh, and I assume because I am a, uh, brilliant genius person, I'm really not, don't believe a single word I say, uh, I can put two and three in there. Uh, this is one and that is eight. Now, uh, that puts five and three here and we are basically through all of the variant logic and we can just blast through some classic Sudoku. Now, uh, this is two and six. Two there, six there, unwinds our center box, uh, which puts six and, oh, hang on. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, right, 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 eight and four there. Now, uh, one, five, and six to place in column nine, so that's a six. Uh, two, nine, and seven to place, nine, seven, two. Uh, three and four to go here, four there, three there. Uh, eight and one there. Nine and five, one and five. Uh, now we've just got uh, a few more digits left to place. This is six and seven, uh, five, four, nine. Uh, I can't do the one, three, eight yet, but uh, this is three, four, and eight. So that's eight, that's three and four. Uh, one, five, and six. Five to go is there, one and six there. Uh, we can do the last row, which is nine. Uh, seven, two, six, seven, four, nine, three, four, one, six. And this is now, uh, the end of the puzzle. So that has been diagonal, anti-diagonal Sudoku by me, Bill. Um, I'm still Bill, uh, like I was at the start of the video. Um, and this has been another gas uh, walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, if this is your first time here, feel free to like and follow or whatever. Um, hey, you do you. Oh, I am the boss of you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I hope you gave it a go. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, night, afternoon, whatever your time zone is. Um, until next time, bye.